What's going on everyone? It's your brother here for another episode of Indie Sunday. We have tons and tons of games for you guys to watch me play and talk about and critique and it's just gonna be a blast tonight. So without further ado, roll the intro! Alright, so we're gonna jump straight into our first game for this evening. Let me go ahead and pull that one up. Gosh, why didn't I already have that one ready? I feel like I should, right? It's been something I should be prepared for, but, uh... I wasn't really paying attention. Da -da -da, get all that nice and fancied up. That's some production value right there. What can you say? You got me. It's your brother. Alright, so let's jump right on in. The first game of the evening is Pipe Dream by Stone Helm Games. It says click to start, so I'm going to click. And I'm rotating, but I'm not actually doing anything. Okay, it's directing me. So left makes me move there. Right makes me move that way. Anything else I'm supposed to do? Near, near, near. Oh, okay, so we're just dodging. That's our first given objective. Dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Do I get more points if I don't continue to move around like a crazy person? What was that game on PlayStation and PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita? That was like a futuristic, better modeled Captain Falcon game. What's that game called? It just kind of reminds me of. The music has that feel to me. The ships kind of look like that. It's the same camera angle. Uh, I don't know what that was called. Oh god. The only thing I don't like- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now we got some moving stuff here. Can I jump? Okay, so I don't have a jump. What was that? Oh, snap. Wipeout! That was it, yeah. What's up, Akai Okami? Click to restart. I'm clicking. Alright, so, already we, we've got some good elements. We've got our high score, so we know how, how many times I've played this and how good I'm getting. They do instruct us on how to play the game. We have our score indicator that's right up on the screen itself. Um... I feel like the pacing of this game could be a little bit faster. I get learning the concept, but um, you hit a box one time, you know, oh, I should not do that. I think that would be helpful. I'm already seeing this guy pretty quick, whereas I didn't see him for, what, like 4,000 score in last time? So that would be nice to have that kind of uh, push back a little bit farther and keep me with the box at the time. Or just speed up all of this so I can get through it a lot quicker. That would be nice. Trying to see what it is. And I don't have any speed boost. I'm gonna try to hit some buttons on the keyboard. Hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy. Okay, so I can't actually use my arrow keys to go back and I mean my WASD. Arrow keys work as well. Um now I'm hearing like those stabs and I I did not even really see that kind of coming. It just kinda happened. You hear it before you even see it, and you have to be in line with the one that's already up in order to miss it, because it changes the same time that your your car or your space spaceship gets right over top of it. That kind of sucks. Alright, so we've been told. <laughs> We're two runners. I like the um, afterburner, the thrust kind of happening back here, that's neat. I'm not sure why it's like flipping through the ground. Is is the thrust actually like going straight down instead of back? And it just, we're getting like the illusion that it's going backwards because it's like flipping every couple seconds or so. Oh, I physically have to click. Before it'll actually progress, you have to click left and right. You can't do it with the air key. That'd be something to make happen. 
if, if I'm able to use my arrow keys, or if I'm if I've been given the ability to use my arrow keys, I need to be able to get through the tutorial with my arrow. Same with WASD. I prefer WASD. Music's getting a little better. Kind of drawing forward here. You can navigate through the spacious pipe and bypass obstacles like crates, spikes, and even hammers. So we've seen all three of the obstacles so far. Keep in mind this game was made in three days, so don't judge me. Judging is not the right word. Offering criticism is is all I'm here for. I will not make fun of somebody for what they've made. Alright, so I have to be right here. And it changes right right when your when your spaceship gets on top of it. So you really have to be just looking at that one. What is that? What are those? What are the white things just hanging out in the sky? Should I go into those? Oh god. Now we're picking up the speed. See? I feel like this should be the speed that we're getting at the beginning and just have me less obstacles so I can learn it really quick to see and know what I am and oh god. Oh, that was cool because I was going faster. I actually blown off the, I got blown off the track. So that's cool. So uh, 8850 was my highest score there. And see it just feels like really really slow here. And I get that you're trying to teach me and introduce me to each of the obstacles. But I, I kind of favored the speed at like the 6,000 range um, and just give me less obstacles. That way I see them, uh, I get introduced to them quicker, and then I can just start nailing through uh, the dodging part of the game. Which is the more fun part of the game, because I mean it is really slow here at the beginning. So I would just say uh, maybe speed me up to about that 6,000 range, score wise is what I'm saying. That way I can get in and learn each of these different obstacles quicker and just keep playing the game over and over and over and over because it just takes too long to get there. Um, other than that, looks like a pretty nice little game. You've got a lot of the good elements like being able to track my score during the game, a high score at the end so I can look and say, okay, well I did better this time versus that time. Um, it would be nice if I had some sound effects for the ship itself. You have sound effects for your, your spikes that are going up in the ground, but not required. Definitely would be nice though. Oh, that's scary. So you got two spikes in a row. And so that means we're randomly generated, which is always good. Oh my gosh. See, about here is the speed I think would be really appropriate for uh, going through this level and learning everything. Because I'm really fast, but I can still see the obstacles coming up ahead. So that would be nice if we could speed it up to about right here where I start. And then just as we go, it just gets faster and faster. I get to that. So this is Pipe Dream by Stonehouse Games. Thank you for making this game. It's really cool. Uh, cute little demo. Love it. Love it. So let's go ahead and jump on into the next game, which is Tube Traffic by Stealthix. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a web-based game, so give me just a second to load this bad boy up and get it all nice and prettied up for you guys. How is everybody's night going so far? It is Monday, the second week in February. Hopefully, everybody had a had a nice weekend. I know I did. Got to watch the Super Bowl with the family, which was fun. Seems like as you go faster, the spikes wouldn't go down in time to use the same strategy. But I went through like seven or eight spikes in a row, and the same strategy still seemed to work. Because right as I got in front of them, if I stayed on the one that was already up, it went down. Seven times in a row. Didn't have any issues doing it that way. Alright, so let's jump into the next game, which is Tube Traffic by Stealthix. This is what we are greeted with. We have uh, a cart uh, going on a track, a railroad track. We're given some directions there. Up is move, down is move. Exit is closed game and R is restart. It might be using a trigger instead of consistent timing. That's probably the case. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that's cool. 
So kind of think about like Frogger, uh, except for we're going down the track instead of trying to get across the way. Tube traffic. So tube as in like the monorail or the railroad. Oh man. Oh snap. All right. So I took damage. So I'm assuming I have a cult bar somewhere. I have noticed that my little light kind of goes in and out. Or it may just be I'm getting more light from the trains when they come by. And it just makes it look like that. Whoa. It is definitely trippy on the eyes because of the, the brown bars that are there. And then you're having to watch the... Uh, whoa. It's definitely getting faster. Much, much faster. You're having to watch these... Uh, freight cargo. I'm not sure what those are called. The storage containers. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get sick. Cool. You're having to watch the um, freight containers to really know do you have the opportunity to jump by or is it better to stay where you are? Um, I think it would be nicer. Jeez, I, I can't. My eyes. Oh. That is rough on the eyes. Talking about some motion sickness. So let's just kind of talk about this as, as it's nice and easy, easy pace here at the beginning. Um, core concept is down. It's an endless game where we're just trying to dodge as far and as long as we can. That's nice. Um, we've got some obstacles that we're having to watch out for, for like the uh, yellow tape, I think it was, or like a construction sign that's on the actual track. We've got to look out for the storage containers if we're going to be jumping between the two tracks. And then we have our ultimate bad day, which is the train that's going to kind of come and run us over. Um, it, it is supposed to be a short-lived game. There is no way in the world someone is just going to be able to play this for, you know, 10 minutes at a time. There's no way somebody can play that for 10 minutes without just becoming a crazy person because of these brown bars that are on here and the amount of stuff that's going on. So, I think if we wanted to make this into something that we could, you know, practice our skills and get better at the game, to, you know, complete it per se, or, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Become an expert at the game. We have to have an achievable goal. We have to have to do something that we can achieve. You know, even in, like, the Temple Runners, you're given, like, okay, you ran X distance. And that is now your your high score for you. So you went this far. Or maybe we got to London's railroad station. Now let's try to get to another railroad station. And that could be your achievable um, goal in this type of scenario. Because it is definitely a nice concept. I love this. It's like Frogger going to the side, which is really cool. But it just gets so fast and it just gets so crazy. You're just like... Oh, my eyes, my eyes are bleeding. There's just so much going on. I'm going to try it again and see if I can just not get sick. Um, I like that we have different amounts of ambient light throughout this. Like, we have light. Oh, God, that train just ran that over. Uh, we have light from my little cart. We have light from the... I have three lights. Uh, we have light from the traffic cones. And then we also have a light from the train. I did notice something kind of strange. The light from my... Part goes away as a train comes into picture. So like I have my ambulance right now. See if I can get another train. Now it's gone. It's just completely gone as soon as that train comes in. I don't know if that was intentional or if that was just a bug of the game, but it, it feels kind of weird. Like I should still have my light source as another light source comes into contact with me. It just should be brighter since we're both adding to the ambience in the room or the substation or wherever the heads we are actually at. Um, you could give me some sound effects or my cart transitioning. Like, you know, you have something that's metal scratching against metal as we jump up, and then a harder metal scratching against metal as we fall down, saying that we've hit that cart, or just one sound if you wanted to do like a shifting metal scraping music or something. That would be fine. Um, if you didn't want to use the light mechanic for the train, you could do um, audio to let them know it's coming, but then not tell them what, what track it's on. So you could still introduce 
keep the train in here and make it even harder for them to try to figure out, okay, which track is it going to be coming on? I know it's coming, so I need to be looking there. That could be a different way you could use that if you're not able to get the light thing between my cart and that cart. Um, would like some music in the background. I can definitely see some some uh, something kind of laid back. I don't want to say creepy, but lot not a lot of notes. Really, really, maybe in a minor key. Not scary, creepy, but just minor notes here and there, and a small amount of notes. It doesn't have to be a lot of dancing around. It doesn't have to be a fancy melody or anything. Just something really, really light. Uh, to go on in the background. You could probably even get away with just a railway uh, ding, 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 going on in the background that's just faint enough to hear to kind of get that in, get that in your mindset that you're at a train station or wherever the heck we are. So that's uh, Tube Traffic by Stealthix. Neat, neat little game. Um, I, I would just say maybe, maybe look at that ambient light thing, see if you can get that corrected. And uh, give give me an achievable goal in the game. You know, say it's it's five kilometers long, and I'm trying to get across there. Uh, I'm trying to get there, and if I get there, reward me with something. If I don't get there, tell me how far I went, and uh, you know, put that up as a high score so I I know how much farther I have to get. Uh, you know, you can add some story to it. Doesn't have to have story. Just something that's an achievable goal instead of I'm just aimlessly going on and on and on and on. Seventy-four, I guess, was my distance. I think because there's not a distance marker like feet, inches, kilometers, miles. I'm not sure if that was maybe how many trains I dodged, or how many traffic cones I dodged, or how many times I jumped. Mr. Train. Not not really sure, but really good game. Really, really good game. Thanks for making it, dude. Or do that. Alright. So the next game on the list is another web-based game. It's called Sewage Sim by Rob Rob. Let me get this all squared away in OBS so it looks nice and pretty for you guys. For whatever reason, when games are made and uh, imported on itch.io, they always do them at a weird, weird resolution. It's, it, I know I can maximize it, but I don't always get good results when I maximize it. It's really weird. Square, square that up a little bit. All right, so this is what we got. Got a poop meter over here. Got a uh, water. Uh. I think that's a pipe. Yes, that is a pipe. All right, so I'm putting pipes together. Sorry, what have I done? Uh, pipe. Made a bunch of pipes. Connect all of it to the lake. Alright, so what am I missing? Um, num, 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 num. Move map with right mouse drag. Oh god, oh god, oh city, hello city. So let's refresh this because I've obviously destroyed some stuff. Use the pipe tool in the bottom left corner to draw pipes. Join the lakes to the city water supply to supply them with water. Connect pipes with the city sewers to take their waste away. Don't let the poopo meter overfill. Okay. So use the pipe tool to draw pipes from the lake to the city water. Where is the city water? This is the sewer. So we want pipe. We want that to not be. I'm assuming that's that's all. The, that's the only type of pipe we have. Is this water? Maybe can I can I can I put a pipe on this? Though? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're gonna run that down this and then connect it there. Oh god, the poopometer's filling up. 
It's actually doing the thing it said it was going to do, but I don't know how to undo that. Guys, I'm so sorry. Can we just, can we just like, put it in the water? The ocean? Uh. Oh, ah, I failed. The poop meter has now doubled. Tripled. What have I done? I'm so sorry, town. I don't know how to get it back down. Pipe. Out here into water. Can I, can I just like put it, put it back in this reservoir? Yeah, I think it's a lost cause. There's, there's a... Oh no! My football meter overflowed. So he says on here, uh, massively overscoped on this one. Lesson learned. So he knows, he, he knows what's up. He knows that, uh, he definitely overshot what he was able to do in the allotted time. So how could we, how could we scale this down? He's even got money in here. How could we make this into something that is definitely achievable in a, in a week's worth of time? So I think map scale would be the first thing I would suggest. Maybe just keep a simple map and make it level based so you can worry about getting one good level done and make it look nice and clean um and then that gives you the template to make more levels later on exactly tinier map um and, and make it more of okay i have all of these cities and these towns and these houses and these roadways and everything forget about all that we want to see what's underneath all that. So give me the dirt structure, and then you could put me just an overlay of a basic city on top of that. And that's just for visual. That's not for not for something you need, because there's nothing town-wise. Like we don't really need to see any of this town stuff here. But it would be nice if it was just like a, a transparent overlay, and we can focus on what's underneath. It. I think we need a better distinction on the. The uh, objects that I'm trying to interact with, like this is supposed to be a city sewers, uh, join the lakes with the water supply. So this is the lake and that's the water supply. The pipe, obviously, you'll fix direction wise when, uh, when you know you get some you get some time to practice on. That'll definitely help. Um, You see what I'm talking about, the city stuff? We don't need any of this, and you're just going to override it. You're going to go right over top of that. Dang, my poop meter already filled up. All these houses. They need to be connected. You're connecting all of these houses. I'm so sorry, your poop meter has just gone crazy. It's just so bad. Oh my god. So yeah, scale it down. Maybe give me level design instead of one giant map itself. And make it just a lot more clear with what each of these objects are that I'm interacting with. You could even go as far as saying, as I walk my cursor over top of them, say, sewer, city water, lake reservoir. That way I get the idea and I'm not having to look down. Because I don't like looking outside of the game to get my direction. I want everything that I need to know to come from the game itself. That way... I, I, I am focused on staying inside of this game world and learning what I need to learn on here. Just like when you go to a game store and you pick up a game. Yes, it comes with a manual, but how many times do you go to that manual first? How many times do you go to that manual while you're playing the game? Very rarely. Only when you're done playing the game and you just want to look at some extra stuff to see, oh, well, what have I missed? Or is there some neat things that might be in here that is just like more of a Hardly ever do you go into the game itself. So try to keep your direction inside of the game itself. Start me with to move around the map. You hold down right click. Because that would have been really helpful at the beginning. All I thought was we had this, I think is what we were given. Or something like that. I can't remember. But you, you'll, you'll get it. As you make more games, you even said to yourself, Hey, I definitely overshot this one. And you know that, and you, and I'm glad that you were admitting that and saying that, because next time you'll know, okay, I need to scale this project back that I'm thinking, make it a little bit smaller, clean it up, make it nice and concise. So I think you'll definitely do that. But 
you know, just just think about maybe doing a level design instead of just this giant overworld. I think that's just going to be too hard to try to to comprehend and even try to manage as you know you're playing this game because you're having to zoom around like this. Um, and the other things you you'll you'll fix like being able to fill this bar only to a certain amount. The cash flow is kind of hard to read up here. Maybe put it on a white white font with a black outline so it's visible no matter what I'm looking at where it is. And you'll fix this piping thing. It's directional pipe, so a T over here. All right. So that is Sewage Sim by Rob Rob. Thank you for making this game. I know, I know, I know you feel bad because you weren't able to get it done to your liking, but you know what? That's part of game design. That's part of making something and getting it out there. I'm glad you decided to still publish it because it's something you worked on, it's something you poured your heart into, and you learned something from it. So good for you. The next game we have on the list is Lab Rat Life by Mad Walker. Mad Walker. This is. Once again, another web game. Let me get this all nice and sized up. Oh, how about that nice little music there? So, we have Lab Rat Life by... Mad Walker. We have start the credits. Let's go ahead and start it up. See what we do. Game loaded. Press any T to continue. Alright, so I am Lab Rat, and I have found cheese. Cheese I have. Alright, I was told to go in the pipes. There's cheese in the pipes, so I want to find more cheese. That is what I feel. I want to go back this way. That's it. Take me in a circle. Oh, cheese! I found more cheese! Right, so that's two pieces of cheese. I thought that was gonna be a way out. And that would just be a dead end. Oh, another piece of cheese! Let's squeeze! More cheese! We have a nice little munching animation too, which is. or uh, not animation. Munching sound effect too. Which is really nice. And is this the last piece of cheese? Am I getting the last piece of cheese? Or am I just backtracking? Cheese? Oh, we're still going. Ah! Oh, next level. Alright, so I think I can kind of talk about this as I'm aimlessly wandering around. I like the concept. We're going around just like a lab rat would, looking for cheese, using its sniffer to try to find the cheese. Um, I think that could definitely be a neat mechanic, uh, is to add, like, a, a, a cheese sense, so you can give me, like, an E or a Q, and I press that, and it kind of slightly alerts me that there's another piece of cheese in this direction, um, because as these mazes get more complex, it's going to be harder for me to find and map out this area mine. Um, I don't like how the tail is clipping through the the, um, the tube itself. I think that kind of looks weird. Feels like it's breaking my my uh, my presence in this game. Like I should not be able to have my tail fly through this side of the tube. And another thing, which I'm sure you're aware of now, is this right here. That should not that should not be happening. This is a break, a complete break off. I shouldn't be able to enter this pipe. But I can. But visually, it just feels weird. Oh, green, darker green. So find a way to join that with the other pipes so it doesn't look like it's just broken off pipe that you plugged in. And I think an easy way to do that is if you do a slight cutaway here and then let this pipe continue on a little bit forward. It kind of gives you that feeling like there's a there's a piece over top of the pipe that's going up like this, and it's connected. So you don't have to do a lot of crazy stuff with the graphics, but if you just create like a half circle right here 
or more of like a, yeah, more like a half circle right there. It will line these pipes up perfect, and it'll make it look like, oh, these pipes are, are in fact connected. Um, we've got some good music in the background. We've got the sound effect for collecting the cheese. We've got a little wagon tail. Now we're starting to get different colored pipes. That does help me a little bit with location in here. Super duper cute idea. I like the fact that you do have different levels. I'm not sure if I have to have all the cheese to complete each level. My, my guess would be probably yes. That way I'm forced to go back and try to find all the cheese pieces before I can go to that next level. Go back up. You're getting starting to get low. I started. I have 15 pieces and we know there has to be an exit around. Here. But it's a super cute idea. Very well executed. Um, um, I don't know if it just goes on indefinitely, on and on and on and on and on. Uh, if you have multiple levels, you start introducing more. I hope so, that'd be really cool. Six pieces. And I think I understand why we have the size that we do of this map. And that's so I'm not seeing more of the level. Than what's required. Because, um, like, we have this whole right side here. Like, I could, you could cut off, and I could have all the rest of this here in game. But I think you're choosing to do that so I don't uh, see more of the maze, which makes sense to me because then it it does make it harder for me to uh, kind of figure out where where the heck I am. Now you're really making. We've had multiple, multiple, multiple choices of which way I can. Whoa, big open floor. There. So yeah, I mean, I think graphically would be the only thing that just needs a little bit of work here, and that's the pipe itself. And the clipping of the, the mouse tail, the rat tail. The concept is solid. We're collecting these cheeses. The level design is is really good. It's enough to make me okay. I really have to like mentally start planning out where I am, where I have been. I'm just kind of aimlessly wondering now. But I think that's really good. Um, oh, oh, is that connected? Oh, dang it! I thought that was like one on top of the other. Oh, that'd have been really cool. That'd have been really cool. Also really mean. But I like it. Oh, already been up here, I guess. Um, it's definitely starting to get harder, which is cool. Cool, 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 cool. So this is Labrat Life by Mad Walker. A very, very good game. Oh, I'm free! Ah, oh, that should be freedom! Put like a cap on here. Just take your tube itself, enlarge it just a little bit inside of like Photoshop or whatever. And then turn the darkness up, or, or turn the saturation down, so it's a little bit darker. And then that'll make you a little cap at the end. That'll be a, a neat way to, or a, an easy way to make a little cap. Instead of it just cutting off. It looks like I should be able to walk out. Yeah, just make a little cap. At the end. Um, but yeah, just work on your graphics here and you got a, a neat little game. Um, I think it would be cool too if you are going to keep this screen here the way it is uh you could definitely say okay level one had five cheeses level two had ten cheeses level three had four cheeses you know on and on and on or if you didn't want to do it like that you could say the red pipes there are eight oh God. there are eight cheeses i did it i did it ma i found all the cheeses three Thanks for cheesing. Thanks for playing. Just kidding. Um, if you had like red pipes has four cheeses, the green pipes has eight cheeses. That could be another way where you give your your player the uh, the satisfaction of completing each of the areas, especially if it became one giant maze. Definitely something you do there. 
So that is Lab Rat Life by Mad Walker. Thanks for making this game. It's a really nice, really, really nice game. Um, I loved it. It was really cute. I like the little mouse, the little rat running around and making all them cute, adorable noises. Give me some, like, mothballs. So the next game we have on our list is Tube Story by Platon, Pla Platon Games. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pla Platon Games. Full screen. All right. Press start to play. Where is start? We're going to say space is start. Space is not start. X. Z. Enter. Enter is start. All right. So he gives us our direction. Uh. Uh, a, maybe A S D, or that's A comma D to move. Spaces to jump. C is to attack. E is to hide. You're hiding. Oh, I turn into a shadow. Can change it in free game. Okay. C to attack. Here we go. Cha. Whoa. Whoa. Bro is strong. I'm just gonna hide. No. Oh no. This is not going to be good. And there is no sound. I've checked. Uh, there is no sound for any any of these. Whoa! Hey! Let's just just run as far as the fast as I can. Okay. Oh, they can jump too. Speed up. Wah! I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. Just run. Oh, I lost. Escape to play. All right. So it is pretty hard to kill them skeletons. Die. Die. Like. I'm down to one health already. Again. So what am I? Do I just have to like run? Catch them while they're not paying attention? Maybe that's what I have to do. Let's try that. We're gonna go over to this box. That skeleton looks pretty really neat. Maybe. Oh. Okay, I cannot kill him. Why can't I kill him? Die! 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 Alright, so... Let's just try our running tactic again, because that was very effective. Just, I just jumped all over the skeleton. Whoop! Nope. Sorry, fellas. Gotta go. Nope. Nope. Go this way this time. Oh, red ones. So they can't actually slash me because... Oh, did I just double jump? Because they actually have to stop their animation. Later, losers. Oh, buff up. Oh, God. Oh, God, I died. Dun, 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 dun. They, they are just objects for me to jump on top of. So, uh, let's talk about how we can improve this experience. So we definitely need a better attack. Oh, that's to be you guys. You can't jump. Because <laughs> I'm not actually able to uh, hit them without taking a point of damage. Can't jump at all either. Oh snap! Oh snap! And I can't jump that. Oh, gotta I gotta jump out. Hey! All right, we'll go back this way. Let's see what's back this way. Uh, yeah. So I need a better attack 
I need to be able to get into their hitbox to hit them, because I'm not able to get into their hitbox, which is really messing up me being able to play the game. Now, it's really the same kind of for them. They have a different kind of issue with with attacking. They are forced to go through their entire animation before I even receive a hit. So they have to stop, they have to attack, and then they have to start walking again. Oh, there's a bat now! What the heck? Maybe a ranged attack instead, or a way to dodge, block. Yeah, a shield would be nice for me to block that, and then I could step in. Um, that that would be helpful. You know, if my attack had a built-in forward movement, <laughs> then um, I think I would have a better chance at being able to hit them. I think it's a neat idea. We're going through this maze. We're collecting power-ups as we go. You know, maybe we we're, we got trapped down here and we're trying to find our way out and it's like a catacomb or something. It's kind of the vibe that I'm kind of feeling because there's a bunch of undead creatures and we're seeing bats in here. And I'm finding these magical tomes or scripts or rolls up, rolled up sheet of paper and they're making me stronger, which is able to make me run, run faster or, you know, kill these things better. Um, I think that is... Really, my two biggest concern is just the attack between our, us, or myself, and these skeletons. Oh, it's actually... Um, it would be nice, too, if they didn't die like that. You know, I, I, I don't... I, I can tell that this game is not supposed to be a... Well, I just run and avoid these guys. Dang, that hurt. Um, I know you want me to attack them. Because they're here. And you gave me the attack animation. And I like the hide thing, I think that's pretty cool, but I'm not really getting a chance to use it because um, I'm not able to sneak up on them, really. Oh god. Oh snap. Excuse me. Oh, you'll never catch me down too fast. So I'm cool with the power-up idea, I think that that's really cool and it's, it's actually working. I am seeing myself very much off. Um, a lot faster when I run, I'm assuming I would hit harder if I could hit. Oh, he hits twice. That's a no no. Woo! Whoa! Oh, there's a free heart. Oh, max HP up. Gave me two extra hearts. Um, but yeah, work, just work on the combat, work on your hitbox problems, because I cannot. Attack them, they cannot attack me. Maybe give me some creepy, creepy music in the background, like I'm trying to escape a catacomb or something like that. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Um, I think your character needs just a little bit of work on his walking animation, because he, he shrinks down, but his legs are not bending. So it's just, there's too much height variation between my down, or I guess my, my, my bending knee step, to my rising, or I guess we'll do the, the highest step, there's just too much of a difference there. So if you bent that knee and lessened the amount of drastic jump between the height of the head, um, I think that would make that a little bit smoother. Because it just seems like it's too much. Um, I think you'll have a, a very, a very neat little side scroller. Oh my gosh. I was able to kill him and I only lost one heart that time. And done. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I think. Um, so just work on that. Work on the biggest thing is combat. Just go back and look at your combat. Because I would really, I'd really like to see that hide thing come into play. Where they move across. I hide. They move back. I jump out and jump go somewhere else. That, that would be neat to see that in here a little bit more. And that way I have a choice. I can either hide and try to escape through all this. Or I can choose to attack. And, you know... Just come out guns a blaze and the swords, swords are swiping instead. Because we don't have guns, so the swords are swiping. So, that is Tube Story by Platin Games. Thank you for making this game. We do appreciate you. Always, 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 you know, whatever it is you make, bring it on because it makes you grow and it makes me grow. The next game on the list is My Legs Got Tubed. 
by Unnerved Studios. And this is a Unity game. And it is a physical downloadable game. So let me just screen cap. Blammo. There she be. And we start. So my legs got tubed. We have some 3D animated tunes in the background. Reset progress and start. Oh my god. What the heck? Don't mess up. Okay, I'm ready. Doctor said, yep. Shook his head. Oh! Just cut off my legs. What is going on? What are you doing? Why are you taking my legs away? And just throwing them away? Oh, well, maybe. Kind of them away. Yay! Now we just have to fix his legs. Not looking good, you guys. Did you put that in the medical box? Or the tube system container? Oops. Oh. I have hands. So. I'm doing the worm. Okay, so I need to. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not. This is not that kind of game. Oh, God. Please, dear Lord. No, you've got to be kidding me. All right. We're gonna make our way downtown here. We're just gonna slowly, slowly bounce my way. We've got this. Yep, getting over it. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh, just gotta get out in the hallway. Just gotta. Can I grab things? Do I have that as an ability? No, but I can jump. Oh. Okay, nope, nope. I, can, I can actually move. And can I grab at all? Yeah, he watches his arms. Oh, snap. Oh, oh get fit. Do push-ups. Use your mouth. Get on the bed. Oh, I'm on the bed. So you're actually using both the arrow keys and also your mouse to kind of coordinate where it is you're supposed to be going. I don't know what I just did there, but it was, it was not a happy one. There we go. There we go. We're good. All right, we're into the next room. So this is cool. This is this is really cool. I like this. I feel like I'm going to eventually get myself stuck. There we go. Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, I guess I have to go down. Have to go down. Oh. Now it looks like I just have really long arms. Oh, I could have fell right in there. Hi, pedestrian. I need your legs. Give me your legs. Close for maintenance. Let's see about that. I'll, I'll, I'll see about. Oh, oh, it, I can't grab it. I don't think I'm supposed to grab it, but I really want to try. Oh, no. Am I stuck? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, crap. I got stuck. Nothing I could have done. Here we go. Breeze on through this. Just be super creepy. Running through the hospital with no legs, basically running on the butt, because, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just gonna go in, in the pipe, and the pipe, do, okay, yep, I'm stuck again. Thought we were supposed to go down there, but I guess not. So, like, I think some elevator music would be appropriate right here. Like, uh, Sims 4-ish kind of, like, background music 
would be fun. And then every object that I run into totally needs a sound effect. This could be a really fun game. This could definitely be something that uh, is on the level of you know getting over it. Oh, dude, I do have to go now. Can I grab the trash can to help me? Trash can focus. Ooh, I just can't get up there without getting stuck. I'm gonna get stuck. And we'll definitely have to work on the physics. Oh, I need legs. Give me the legs. 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 Give it to me, thy legs. Yeah, we gotta work on the physics of the character himself, because he's doing some all kinds of really weird stuff. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Train tube station. Sorry, but this is all one week of dumb development. We'll get you. Oh, end of game. I don't get my leg. I don't get my leg. I'm afraid if I jump down there, I won't. I won't come back. No. Look, 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 my legs are up there. Your legs are there. It says your legs are there. That's not fair. Ha! Ah, I will get my legs. Give, give me my legs. I have my legs. These are my legs. I have, I, I have legs. I'm walking on my legs. I don't have legs. I just have really long feet. It's sad. Game by Bailey C. Thank you for playing Weekly Game Jam 29. My legs got tubed. Awesome. So, Octodad, Octo, what is that? Octodad? Um, the getting over it game, the the toast, the bread game, trying to make toast. I can't remember what that was called. All of these like super funny, weird, but could call raging type games. I definitely think this could be something that fits in. I would love to have sound effects rule this game. And all the stuff that I'm running into in the hospital, the interaction between the different, uh, the surgeon and the nurse. I think that would be funny. Uh, the surgeon's face. When they realized that they threw my legs away, that was priceless. I love that. Uh, you gave me a lot of different areas to kind of explore with my poor, poor legless. Oh, I do what I want. I found a secret. Stay tuned. There's more to come. If you like my game, why not consider giving me some feedback and supporting the game? Well, Unnerved Studio. That's what I'm doing. Very cool, dude. Very, very cool. I like it. I think you did a super duper job. You, you, you did actually give me my legs in this demo, which made me feel like I was complete. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's mine now. This is this is mine. Um, but yeah, rule this with sound effects, dude. Destroy it with sound effects. You've got some kind of glitch in there at the very beginning with your characters as they're walking around. I'm sure uh, you, you looking at it a little bit more, you'll figure out how to get that kind of solidified so these pieces are not just being thrown all over the place. I think that'll definitely be something you can get worked out. Definitely do that because it was a little bit of a distraction at the beginning. Um, but uh, I think you've got some potential with this game, dude. I think it could be really fun. So this is My Legs Got Tubed by unnerved studios thanks for making this game it was very quirky and and very weird but also very cool at the same time so thanks for making the game next on the list we have down the tubes 3d by super 8-bit rafa this is a physical game this was made in game maker studios let me just capture that right on up Bada bing, bada boom, and here we are. Let's gander at what we have. This game was designed for gamepads and controllers, and it is it is in super duper early access. If you're reading this, I made this a couple hours ago. I encourage you to put all your suggestions in the comment of HIO or Game Gold page, because the game is in such an early state, you can really influence the path of the game's development. So I do have a controller with me. From Cuphead, which I played 
on Saturday. If you've never watched me play Cuphead, it's a lot of fun because I really just don't care. Because that game is hard. It's very difficult. And make one go crazy. So it's two flushes. Alright, and it looks like we are now in a sewer system. And we have a giant floating treasure chest. Oh. Okay. So this is like Doom Doom esque. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have a pause button. I can't pause. The controls are very, very much, um, uh, uh, bouncy, I think might be the correct word here. Like, if I hit over one time, I have a little bit of extra. I honestly- whoa, whoa, whoa! The rat! And the bat! The rat bat! I like the sound effect. Yeah, the music is really good. That looks like something for me. Uh, what? Okay, so it's HP. So I have HP and then it's three Ys, but I think 55 is just my current HP. I'm not sure if those three Ys are useful for anything. Sorry if it feels like I'm just kind of like dancing all around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I have 70 health, but I really am kind of dancing all around to try to yep 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 not die and after I see everything. So was I like a, a James Bondy? Whoa 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 or a rat too. Was I like a James Bondy and I jumped down in the sewers and you were giving me I already you know maybe I lost my gun I found it on the ground, and now I'm just trying to get out of it. Maybe that's my my story of why I'm dead. And now I'm just fighting off these bats, these giant sewer rats. Cause... Oh, 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 there's another one. There's another one. They're really fast. Be the flush, my head cannon is that you is that you're a fish. I mean, uh, yeah, that would make sense. But wait, what? Did that just take me all the way back to the beginning, or oh? But why would a fish have a gun? Not that I'm arguing, but I guess my hands do kind of look like a goldfish. Health. Oh, oh, big rat, big rat, big rat. Not okay. Because that's one cool fish. Hi, fishy. Oh, yes, hello. You want to come eat me? You cannot eat me. I will not have it. I like the explosion. Uh, it looks like it's a 3D model. But it blows up so fast that you really aren't able to tell that it's a 3D model, which is kind of cool. Oh, oh my gosh. This might be just a preference of mine, but I would like to have an up and a down. With like this Doom-esque kind of game where I'm not using my cursor. Um, or a crosshair. If you're, if you're going to make it where I, I have multiple freedoms. We, we need to see either an up and down so I can target everything that's above me and target something that's below me, or give me the crosshair and just give me the free reign to shoot with that crosshair. Because it's yeah, I'm finding it to be kind of difficult. What the heck is that? It's a swirl! Don't stand on the swirl! It's like a secret. I don't... 
Was that was that the world? Then I went down again. Eee! That one got a gun. Dag him back. Yeah, that that rat I'm pretty sure had a gun. Yep, he has a gun. He has a gun. Now they have guns. Pretty soon we're gonna see a rat with a shotgun. No. Let's go rat balls. Come on, where y'all at? Yeah. Get some more health pack here. Ooh. I would like to start screen. That would be nice so I could pause it when I want to. It should be pretty easy to implement. Game maker. Oh. Your creatures, they look really, really legit. I really like them. They're original. They... They are very scary looking. I like that we have sound effects. Down the toilet. Hello? What the what? You dead? Body still there. That's the first. Is that Mama Rat? <laughs> hey. What? Really? Fish. Flushed down the toilet, and now it's out for repair. Ah, no worries. You'll get to watch it later. I'll upload it to YouTube, and then you can... Whoa! Watch it as you can. Am I gonna get to kill my owner? Since I was flushed down the toilet? Am I eventually gonna get back up to... The, the top world and kill my owner. Oh. Eh! Eh! That's a hard to kill. Pew 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 pew! I think the uh, brown rats, they need to kind of charge at me. Instead of them being all nice and really, really slow. Because they're more of like a meat shield at this point. They don't really. They don't feel threatening. Whereas, like these guys with the gun, I do feel threatening. Alright, our next swirl. Alright. Flush Fwada down we go. Pom 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 pom. Eat. Eat. We got big rats and little rats. Health pack well earned right there. Another door. <laughs> yeah, I love your your variety of enemies here, dude. If I remember you made another roguelike game. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Flee! Um, a while back, and it had that same awesome feel of these different characters and, and stuff like that. That was really cool. Um, so I'm a fish that's been flushed down the toilet, 
and I'm trying to escape. And I found a gun. So maybe instead of treasure chest, maybe maybe I just find it in the water. So it's more like I got down in the sewers and I found something instead of let me present you up front with this, this treasure chest and grant you that gun. That would make it a little more believable. I mean, we're a freaking fish going around killing crazed rats. How much more believable could it possibly need? Because that happens every day. But I like the idea that I'm I'm upset because I was I was flushed. I like that. I, I would really like it if maybe instead of going down, we're going up and I'm trying to attack or you know get the people that did this to me. Maybe at the end of this game I get through the sewer system and then I find the house and I'm able to go back in there and blocka 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 blocka. I don't know. But that would definitely give me like a story that I'm trying to hold on to and and you know get to the end of that because I wanna get my revenge on them flushing me down the toilet and leaving me to die. You have a lot of really really good things in this game. Like uh, this whole Doom feel is really really well done. I love it. Um, I do feel like the controllers are a little bouncy. Um, they need to be a lot sharper, I think, or maybe just change how you're doing your cameras in general. Oh, oh more dead, much more dead. Or even just stick with keyboard and mouse might be a, a better better way to do it. I'm actually feeling a little bit queasy because I've, I've moved around so many times. Ugh. Um, but yeah, awesome game, dude. You've done a lot of really good work. Oh, snap. You've made some huge um, improvements as, as like, you're making these games. And I love the fact that you're adding sound. Give me some sound effects for these creatures, like the bats. You can give me, like, a high-pitched thing. The rats themselves. You could do some some really crazy, like, just squeaks. And then for the, for the really big ones... You can do like a deeper squeak as they're dashing towards you. I think that would be really cool. Uh, neat little game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, let me just stop. Oh, it's back. So this is Down the Tubes 3D by Super 8-Bit Rafa. He's made some awesome games in the past. Go check out some of his others if you haven't already. The next game we have on the list is Tube Fighter. The Tubening by TDM10. A legit Unity game. Let me load it up. I don't do very well with spinning around type games. Uh, I will get crazy. Hopefully, that never becomes one of the themes in one of the streams. That would be, that would be not okay. So let's look at how to play. W, A, S, D, or arrow keys to move, left click to swing. All enemies have three hearts. Each swing does one heart worth of damage. You start with three. Red hearts kill you for one. Blue hearts kill you and make you slightly faster. Gold hearts kill you for two hearts and increase max health, max health hearts by one. If you find a gold tube, try and touch it. Right. Movement. Swipe. Swipe. Dun, 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 dun. Swipe. No. Swipe. Swipe. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. But they don't seem to be propelled to get the gold hearts. I mean, the, the propeller hearts. The red. I don't see my hearts anywhere either. Am I missing my hearts somewhere? Ooh, it's the gold tube. Come on. Come on. Okay. That happened. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, oh, I see it. It's up there at the very top. Oops. Okay, now there are more than more than one of me of them. That is not cool. Okay, bye. I'm gonna run away. I only have one. Alright. Get in line. You get your beatings all in order. Oh, I died. So the controls kind of feel like those old RC games, RC car games, that you would play top-down, 
and you would try to somehow do your best and and make those little cars go around the racetrack without you losing your, your religion. That's kind of how I feel like controlling this guy. I end up spinning around in circles more than I uh, would like to. Uh -oh. Uh oh, Now you're adding up. Now, uh, now I'm getting more people. Oh, gotta get the thing, gotta get the thing. Oh, everybody dead. Get through him. That's a weird clipping issue. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, don't let him kill me. Tell my tube fighter mate that I love her. And I'm sorry that I had to go off to the, the tubing to defeat all of these evil no-gooders. Bam. Ooh, gold heart. Double gold heart. Excuse me, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Oh, looky, 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 looky. Die. Oh. Getting all kinds of good. Yep. I can't get anywhere there, but I'll get it anyways. Die. 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 Oh, oh god. Oh god, we're ganging up. I gotta be fast. Wham! 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 Oh crap. Oh crap. Here we go. Move! Oh. So, what you're supposed to do is just wait for that to come up. And everybody's dead. And then. I like how you're actually giving me the max heart if I'm full health, and then you're not if I'm not at full health. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people, and it doesn't seem to be ending. What did I do to deserve this torture? Oh gosh, now I'm getting beat up against the wall. So it's simple, the, the concept is easy to understand. It's just a top-down fighter, and we're all hitting each other with these swords. Um, the combat is, is very, very much just stand in front of your enemy and attack. There isn't really like a... Uh, a... need to move around a lot, I feel, because once you get the speed, it's always a front-forward fight. You're always just... You turn around, you start attacking, you turn around, you start attacking. I would love to see, like, maybe let me have the option to choose a different weapon. Let me, you know, okay, maybe I don't want to fight with a tube. I know this is about tubes, but we also have to think about the game mechanic itself. You know, maybe the bad guys, they're archers, and I have to attack them that way, and I'm using a tube to kill them. Maybe they are shield maidens, and they just have shields, so I have to get enough blue hearts to circle around behind them, and then attack them that way. Because um, this whole, I kill one and two more come, and over and over and over and over, it, it's just, uh, oh, I, that guy is literally on top of me. Um, it, it just gets to the point where I'm only just waiting for the golden tube to come out. And that's... It loses its fun. <laughs> it almost looks like they're flying now. Just keep piling on top of each other. Is max 20 for hearts? Is that as many as I can get, or is that just. There hasn't been any more golden, golden hearts. So, yeah, just wait for this to come up, and then they'll die. Bam! Max. Nope, I can keep going and going and going. Yeah, give me some variation, give me some different enemies, some that dash, or some that, um, you know, they disappear and reappear, uh, an archer or something like that could be, could be fun, because I'm just constantly waiting, and now I'm so much faster than them that, you know, I barely even lose any hit points. And it would be nice if these, all of these parts didn't appear every single time I use that gold too, because... I mean, I, I am just, I, I'm, I'm laughing deeply. 
corralling them into the center, and I can go around them two or three times. I don't know where they even get anywhere remotely. Die! 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 Oh, that guy's spinning! What is going on? He spat out a good thing. But, tube fighter of the tubing. Give me some variation in these enemies instead of them just being the same enemy charging at me over and over and over. Um, make that that golden tube something that rarely comes up. And I mean rarely. It's a savings grace kind of thing. You know, it's only maybe possible for it to come out if I get below five hit points or something like that. So it has its its rarity, it has its purpose, it makes me feel like Oh my gosh, it's, up, it's on the stage. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna make it. If it feels like right now, maybe it's just a timer it comes out. Maybe every 30 seconds or something like that. I'm not sure. But that's Tube Fighter the Tubiting by TMD Tim. Thank you for making this game. Uh, it's got a little bit of work to do, but I think you can create something that's pretty cool. Wow, that came out cool. Um, with just a little bit more work on it. So thanks for making the game. Keep on devin. Keep on making these awesome games. You can pardon them skills. Get proed up. Next game we have on the list is a web game. It's called Meta by Dig Diggly. Dig Diggly? Correct. Correct. Pronunciation. Sizing this down so it looks very cool. Sun game. Oh, really? Let's try that again. It just starts to resize after I get it all nice. Oh, my character died. That's enough music. Bar. Okay, restart. Whoa, okay, so that's got a little bit of a little bit of kick on it. Should I turn? How do I turn? How do I turn? Um click that doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. So it's turn sideways X. Huh. And after that. Hey, Diggly! Hold space to bend in your ship. X to flip vertically. It's in game description on page. So, that. Oh, fancy. So we're good here. And then we hold shift so I don't die. I don't need to remember. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Holding. Holding. It's probably best to hold shift until you don't. Green, green is good. Oh, time. Dang it. This is really cool. I like it. I think for this game, since the controls are a lot more important, there is no way I would suggest making it any faster. Dang it! I went too early.
Oh, man, that is unforgive, unforgiveness. Push you slow to snap back after the bend because you are nicely aligned with the vertical supports. Okay. So really only use space around those bends. Okay, I see. Oh. And so we're gonna turn left. Oh, we are getting a little faster now that we're in section two. We turn again. Purple. Whoa. Dang. That's cool. That's cool. Very cool. So we have multiple sections. We have a lot of different types of obstacles here. We have just the bars. We have the bins themselves, which is a nice little obstacle. We have these, like, giant force field things that we've got to try to whoop, go through. Uh, we have the speed itself. I feel like X is a really hard button to try to use whoa, while trying to do these um, the flip, the vertical flip. Might be better served like on an X, on a P, e, or like a W, or even like a shift. This, to get to that X, it's really hard with using WASD as well. Because your concept is clear. Nice and clean here. Just the what button to use. Like for that right there, I was holding X with my middle finger, steering with my ring finger and my index finger back and forth and then I immediately had a bend coming up so I had to switch put my thumb down to get the bend and then also move move my um, ship up to try to miss this um, laser I had to go up arrow keys to move? Okay. Yeah, that does definitely work a little bit better. Just for for us in users' sake, remove WASD from a possibility. Alternate control screen is recommended by my friend exactly because of the reason you just described. Yeah, and just kick the WASD so we don't even try because, I mean, a lot of gamers, their their thought process is either first person shooter, if it's uh, RTS, you're moving the mouse, you're moving everything around with that WASD. MMO, you're using WASD. Arrow keys are typically only used on like the web very few games themselves but in games like this where you really need X or C or Z it does make more sense to use those arrow keys because now that I'm using those area keys I feel like my efficiency is going to be a lot higher after I you know, get in the rhythm itself okay Aww. This is your game. I think left shift is slow motion power up. Oh, that's the clock. Oh. See, I wasn't sure what that was. I thought maybe it was just this like a time thing. And I just hadn't got far enough in the game to 
Oh, look at that. And that lasts for 15 seconds? Kind of what it felt like, 15, 20 seconds? Okay. Whoa! Go in the purple area. Into the bend. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang! Very neat game, dude. I really like this. Is there a way that you can make um, my my starship kind of hug the side instead of it clipping through and me seeing the outside areas? Like I don't want to I don't want to see that outside area there. I, I would like that it would just hug hug the side of the ship. I hope the side of this tube, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So, yeah, I'd have to put that on the camera so it doesn't go through the walls. It's like, yeah, just so I'm not saying, oh, there's, there's outside. There's outside. Seven section each color-coded different. Oh, bless my little heart. I am so terrible at your game. Sorry about that. Um, great, great game. You know, I think, like I said, the only thing I would suggest would be to just limit me from even being able to attempt with WASD. I just, I don't, I don't think a lot of people naturally go for the arrow keys just because it's not used in most games. Um, and then we are forced to use uh, the control, the, the arrow keys. And another thing I would say is, um, and this is just kind of like a, I'm a creature of habit on here, is try to give your directions in the game itself. And that can be as simple as creating a single little pop-up right before you start playing to say, hey, here's how to play the game. And before I'm going to allow you to get into this universe and go crazy, I want you to know how to play it accurately. Just give me the simple controls on the game itself instead of below the game. Whoa! Uh, that... That takes it out. That makes it so I can't say. Well, he never taught me how to play. He goes up every time. The seventh section goes back. First section keys and keys on three for the last another time. Ooh. very good game though. Thank you so much, uh, Diggly, for making this game. This is called Meta. Uh, you can go play it yourself. See if you can get through to all seven sections because I definitely can. I got the section four. And that was after, you know, almost 10 minutes playing it. Uh, very, very good game. Thanks for making it, dude. Alright. Next up on the list is... Oh my god. I might be biased. Because this game is freaking adorable. I made it past 7 seconds, so it's definitely possible. Oh, lucky. Lucky you. But you've also developed it, so... Like you're 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 already biased on being able to get there. I want to see if any of our our watchers can get there. So this game, the next one on the list, is freaking adorable. Freaking adorable. It's called Tiny Bot Prototype by Dreebix. Dreebix, Bix, Bix. I don't know. Something like that. The the name is gonna be on the. Sidebar over there, right now. Go take a look. This game is adorable. Look at this cute little robot. We have a nice little start screen, and the screen itself actually starts up as um, just this little tiny window, and you can press F4 to full screen it. Um, but that usually just messes up my game. I'm just gonna try to keep it where I had it previously, so you guys can. There it is. Let's jump in. And look at this cute little robot. Back in the window. Start. X to start. And this is this is one of my best ways to to teach somebody how to play. If you think about like your Assassin's Creed, where they are introducing you into the Animus and they are slowly getting you kind of familiar with everything around you, they are walking you through the controls 
in a way that it feels like you're actually playing the game without jumping you into the game. So, on the top of the screen, it just shows me. Move left and right like that. And right above the door, it says, oh, press up. That's how you go through the doors. Now you know. Do you use jump? X is lift and release. So it teaches me how to play, even though I'm not really playing it. And right here is a perfect example of, ouch, that killed me. I'll know not to do that next time. So I just died. Now we're gonna come back. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come back. The part where I'm supposed to come back. Hello. Let me come back. Nope, dead forever. It's a, it's a, you have to reinstall the game to get your life back kind of thing. Avoid that box. We got, looks like a little button. Maybe? Jump on the button. Down. Up. Nope. You gotta grab this box. It's adorable. Alright. So we need to put box here. Oh, arbor reset. Okay. So it disappears, which creates a thing over there. And I can't get over there anymore. So I need to go over, grab the box, and throw that down there. Lift and press. I think I have to jump on that box as it's coming. Down, up, up. Dang it! Grab, drop, jump, up. Yeah. Oh dang it, I'm supposed to do it again. Grab, down, up. Grab, down, up. <laughs> oh, it's beachy. God, it's this thing is horrible. Nope, that's that. Down. Ball, grab it, drop it, go down. Watch my dance! Alright, so... Oh, jump over. Grab. Carry over. So now I should be able to jump up. Oh dang, I gotta do it again, don't I? Yep, gotta do it again. Uh. Yep, like that. Let's come down here. Over. Drop. Jump. Block. Um, stop. Grab. Jump. Jump. Yep. 
Transfer my little tower. Like these. Jump, jump. Hello, Albermoth. Welcome to the stream. Place that there. The position this guy right there. I'm doing wonderful. We are doing some Indie Sunday tonight, and it has been quite joyous to see all these crazy games that have been created. I don't think I can make that. Ah! What did I? What did I do? So there's a box up there. I see it now. So I need to place that down, grab the box. Oh, I have to jump to actually do that. Drop. Drop. Okay, okay. Very good. Oh crap. Okay. That's jump. Yeah! This game is so cute! I don't feel like I need to change anything. I think the controls are very understandable. I would love to play this with a controller though. I think I would just be better than the X and Z thing, because I always get those back. Um I just I just really like it. Oh, oh god. Uh, uh, so, no, got to turn around, I have to, I have to face back, drop, go, 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 yeah, dude, Drebix, you made tons of bubbles, got that one there, so I can turn this one there, okay. Here. How? I've got to skip a button. Dang it. This game is called Tiny Bot Prototype. Dang it. Uh. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna go where I want it to go? Yes. Wow. Oh! It's the Yoshi Mario combo all over again! But see, he taught me how to play it. He taught me what I needed to do in order to get where I uh, needed to be. Okay, so I've got to make like a stair step, maybe. That's what I need to do. Yep. That. Drop, drop it. Drop it. Gives me a way back. And then I can make. There. Drop. Yep. Drop. Uh, uh, drop. Yep. Drop. Yep. 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 Point, point, point. Drop. Jump. Jump. Why didn't I jump? Yeah, you totally should. I don't know what level I'm on. But, uh, these levels are definitely getting harder, and they are really, really well made up. Well, well made. Dang it. It's definitely one of my favorite websites. I've stumbled upon it when I started playing these games for the Weekly Game Jam. And there's some really neat stuff out there. I absolutely love it. Albemore, are you a game developer, or just, uh... 
And is it bystander looking to find some fun games to play? Hmm. I need to get... Dang, nerfer! We have to do the heat pulp. The heat pipe heat pulp. There you go. Have to jump on him. Or just run into the spike sixteen hundred times over and over again. Okay, I can't play anymore. I need to go. I need to, I need to play some more games. I found two awesome games there. City Clickers and Pioneers, both from the same developer. Cool. Well, if you'd like to play some more games uh, that are pretty neat, go down below and take a look at weeklygamejam.com. They do a weekly game jam that's themed. And we have a new theme every single week. We have tons of people that come together and make games. And, they, and then I'll play them on Sunday. Normally. Normally. Hey, Spock! underscore thanks for following us my friend we appreciate you um but it's a lot of fun we see some really neat stuff come through um my favorite part about all this is the new mechanics that these people kind of create uh because i always believe that you know mechanics are created and one day we're going to see them in these triple a titles down the road and you know i'll be one of the first to say oh i remember when that first mechanic was invented I remember when that was created for the first time. Tiny bot prototype. I wouldn't change anything. This game is super adorable. I could see it doing really well on like a mobile game where you just turn your phone sideways. You have some controls on the side to, to pick up that block and to move your character around. Or you could introduce um, the controller support for this game. I don't think you have controller support. I'm gonna turn on my control here and see. Dreamlix, dude. So glad you're on the stream. Diggly, thanks for the follow as well. You have made an amazing game, dude. I really think you should introduce some controller support here. I think there would be a lot of fun to that. You could give X to be your, your pickup uh, to get these items. But I just love the music, sound effects, this adorable little robot. It's amazing what you've done with this. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll keep developing this game and turn it into something. Uh, super duper, dude. Super de duper. Oink. 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 So, we're gonna end that one. We're gonna have to jump onto our next one because we do have so many, so many, many games to play. And we have to get to them all. So, that's just the way I roll. So, next on the list is Le Pipe by Slanted J. Le Pipe by Slanted J. That plan had lots of fun making and add controller support in the future. Good to hear, my friend. This next game is a game maker game, so I will actually be able to get it that way, which is much easier. Here we go. So, here is our game. We have tubes. This is Le Pipe. I don't know if I'm supposed to collect those. Artifact of a Wanderer. Travel for 1500 pixels. Passive move speed multiplier. Times 1.7. The boots seem to increase the move speed. Handy to escape reality. Press the text mark. So I guess okay. So I am I'm collecting the coins that are flying out. Oh god! I'm I'm collecting the coins that are flying out of these pipes. That's interesting. I see there's a shop. So what do these pipes do? How do I? Okay, maybe I just don't have enough money yet. Shop. 
Okay, we're in the red pipe. Green pipe, the only one I can go down. That seems like credits. Let's go. Let's tuner box. Click the open, click to open the shop. Increase money flow. Put 300. Gain a stable income. So it looks like the buttons are actually off. Where uh, where they actually are supposed to be. Holy crap. Yeah. Avoid the balls. Oh, he's got a mini game. Okay. Ready. Miss. Miss. It's like a game within a game within a game. Whoa! It's like dodgeball with basketball. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. We've got some good music. We have sound effects on the coins kind of coming in. We have a shop. I think the only thing we've seen so far wrong that needs to be corrected would be just the the, the shop icons themselves were a lot higher. And it may be because the resolution, you know, when you develop something, you never know exactly what they're going to play it on. And I know that can sometimes have an effect. Does this go on forever? I've not gotten hit yet. Let's just keep going as long as I can. They're definitely starting to speed up. Maybe I'll get more. Character's cute. It's a pretty abstract looking character. We don't have face, so I'm assuming we're looking forward, which is fine. We have a little side shuffle here going back and forth. Get hit. Get dead. Oh, he even has like a little. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so I got $14,000 by doing that. Uh, increase this a couple times. Come that gold one. Yeah. Now we have a better chance. I get a lucky coin. Press the button 40 times. Well, it's, it's cute. It's simple. I I would I would want to know why why we're collecting coins out of a uh, out of a flying tube. Maybe this is just my job. I got a bucket now. Stepping up in the world. Why am I owing? Why am I broke? What have I done wrong? Uh, we've got this weird safe thing up here. Quite understanding that maybe that's supposed to be something that's hidden in the background. So now I'm losing money, but it's a cute game. It's very simple. You know, if we look at it just from like your your you collect to buy upgrades so you can collect more kind of games. I think this would definitely fit right in with those. Um, we, we need to definitely get this button thing fixed and maybe even talk about what exactly each of these do. Get the magnet thing, get the magnet thing. Like, I'm, I'm now broke and I don't even know why. I'm $10,000 in the hole. So I'm not sure. Maybe clear that up here and make, make me understand why that is. Do I, am I picking up things that are costing me money? Is, is that what's going on? I'm not sure. Um, and this, this is, this does take a long time if this is not the main game itself. So either limit the time frame that I'm able to play this mini game, or just make the difficulty a lot higher. Um, 
or make it go a lot quicker. So, yeah. You know, I'm not in this too long. That is um, Le Pipe by Slanted J. Thank you for making that game. It's a very interesting game. I can't remember what those type of games are called where you're trying to collect just so you can collect more. I can't ever remember. The next game we have tonight is made by Akai Okami. She's made some very awesome games in the past. In this game, she and this time she has made Hydro Station. So let me get that loaded right on up, as you can already see on the screen. Let me just get that all nice and high. Hey, come on, Ah, we'll just keep that. Fine. Me? Alright. Link the two highlighted pipes with the time limit using the limited amount of parts. Using a limited amount of parts. Click to get the part and have, or press space to select part. Use mouse wheel or a new or left drag. Wait. Click on the empty grid space to put pipe down. Press R to link the two pipes to below to go to the top. And I like this. So you give me everything that I need. Yeah, this is a Kai's game. You give me everything I need to understand it before I'm allowed to get in the game to start wrecking everything up and figure it, trying to say, what the heck is going on? Why can't I figure this out? I like that. I like that. I know I can root it like that. I place that down. Now I've got it. So now I know I need to go this, that, I'm only given two elbow pieces. Oh man, I got to pack. One. Move the elbow. Boom. Oh, uh, okay, so. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh god, nervousness. Oh. oh, that was fast. That was really fast. Oh, 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 oh. Go. Uh, uh, crap. Like this, and then like that, and, and, oh. That. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Oh. Uh, uh. Side to the side. Go. Go. Woo. Uh, 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 uh. Eh, go. What? 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 Huh? Oh, uh, you. What? That's evil. What? Other pieces. Ah, uh, right there. That have done it. I have to make one bend in it, otherwise it won't work. That was cool. That was really cool. I like that. Very cool. All right. So she used Game Maker Studio graphics made by you as well, Asprite and GIMP. GIMP is a great program to use, or paint.net. Pipe click sound effects. See, you can get all kinds of neat sound effects. You just go look online. There's a bunch of stuff that's royalty free, commercial free, business free that you can use. Super duper awesome. You got some nice sound effects in the background, and you've given the right, you've given them the, um, words that I cannot seem to think of what they are. Credit. You've given them the, the credit that they are due. That makes it so nice. So this is a neat little game. This, I was talking to Mayshell uh, earlier about this game, and so every game I, I at least open it up, make sure I can get into it, make sure it's capturable, and then I will attempt to, to start the game. And I wasn't able to start the game until I actually you know, clicked through this to get to the next area. It reminds me so much of that game 
back in like Windows 98, Windows XP, and it was a pipe game where you had liquid coming in a one pipe and you had to try to figure out how to make this contraction thing while the water started to flow. So you had to be really, really quick um, to, to get it going and that was always fun and I liked the race against time. You did it in a completely different way. You had it where I was just racing against the clock. So I was watching that clock like a freaking hawk trying to get through this. And um, the fact that the pieces were rotated using like the mouse wheel or WASD or left and right um, versus like selecting the different pipes. You know, so that's a left elbow, that's a right elbow, that's a, you know, whatever else elbow. Um, I'm, I'm like, ah, I can't scroll. I don't know. Up or down. Which way do I need to go to get the right one? That made it a whole lot more fun for me, you know, because I was kind of like, like panicking, trying to figure out, crap, ha, which, which, ro rotate, which one do I need? Ah, ah, I don't know. That was, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I really liked that. Um, I like how you gave us the directions at the beginning. I think it would have been nice to have like a title screen. That you just kind of went crazy with all the pipes on there and then took me to this uh that way you you kind of give them the choice to am i ready to pursue the game am i ready to jump in or not that would have been a nice uh nice addition to the game but i think you've got all of the great essential things to make a, a good game you know you have a beginning you have the middle you have the end that shows me i've completed i've, I've done it really well um, we credited to the people that created the different sound effects and music in here. You've given me the instructions. You've given me the ability to replay it. You gave me some challenge. You know, it was a lot of fun. Made me kind of stress out a little bit as I'm trying to get each one of these, which is fun. Uh, so, you know, kudos to you. Good job, Akai Okami. This is a really well made game. And, um, the. I'm gonna have the water flow thing originally but I didn't have time to implement it. Ah, uh, you'll get it in the next rever reversion. Reversion. Revision version. Revision slash version. Um, neat game. Love it, love it, love it. Super duper simple. Uh, you tripped me up with that last one which was really cool to have to throw that extra bend in there. You could even get to the point where you start adding like the cross part uh, where you throw that on the field and we have to complete that circuit. I think that would be pretty cool uh, You could even do like having two different flows two different water flows and you have to You have to do both of those. Now your time would obviously have to be a lot longer in order to do that you have like a red and a blue and I've got to I've got to pipe out both of those and get into their impulse uh, Within that time frame. that could that could make this game so much harder, but so much more fun. So, that was awesome. That was Hydro System by Akai Okami. Thank you so much for making that game. Thank you for coming on the stream. As I say always, you are you are almost always here. You're always hanging out with us. Showing us what, what cool stuff that you've made and getting to talk about your games. And you uh, you kind of help me sometimes walk through some of these things that I just have not figured out. So you are welcome. I'm glad to tell you that. The next game we have on the list. I'm going to flip myself back over here. Is Cleaning Robot by Blue Mirror. By Blue Mirror. Oh. Maybe. That's the right game. Um, let me just make sure because it's actually got a that's got a different title on the top of it. Make sure that I, I didn't I didn't done goof. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to miss somebody. Yeah, I think send me that link there. That'll that'll make sure I go to the right place, not the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's the right game. Just a different name. Okay, so flip that on over. Uh, the title is actually different, and the top of the screen is actually different. The top says Tube Runner. 
title screen says, on a sunny day, play outside, jump to start, and then what I have on the website says, cleaning robot by Blue Man. I don't know. Maybe there were multiple ideas going on here, and this is just what they settled on. So that would be my first thing of advice. Settled on a title. Jump to start. Oh, look at that jump. Whoa. Scrub, scrub the poo. Scrub. Oh. Alright, oh, we don't, we don't hit that. Back. We don't scrub that poo though. Scrub, 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 scrub. Don't want that one. Poo scrub. That sounds like somebody's voice. As the sound effect, I love that. I like the music too. Oh, oh. This is how all of our pipes are gonna get cleaned in the future. We're just gonna have tiny little robots. Not below. And my time is going down, but I'm also going. To the next level. I like this little jump animal too. I don't understand it. Seems like it's not always. Uh oh! I am free! I'm free falling! Just spinning into infinity. I I think I'm like stuck. stuck. Yeah, I I'm stuck. I don't know how I got stuck in the center, but I sure did. So we got a beginning middle in here. We've got a title screen. We've got the content in the middle of it. We've got something to tell me I've won or I've lost the game. We've got the score on the screen. We've got time running down on this clock. We've got some obstacles that I'm trying to avoid. Let's pull this game back up here and just try to talk about that while we go through it. Okay. These almost look like ramps. I want to jump off of them. One. Over here. So when I when I hear the word level up, I think of like I I am now powered up, but I'm not getting the sense like I I, I am I am stronger against scrubbing the poo from this this infinite tube. Um, I think what they meant was like next level like level two, like world two kind of level up instead of I am now stronger. I am feeling it is getting faster, which is good. So there's more difficulty as we go. I could totally be game for these things being like grand stuff. I, I feel like that could be something really fun to kind of be going down this poo tube and going down on all these things. I don't have any ability. Okay. But I don't have any ability to touch that stuff. And the jump, I guess, is really just to get me to the other side of the tube um, as quickly as possible. Or to avoid these red obstacles at the end of, like, you know, when it's a lane like this. I get that. That's cool. Very, very cool. Complete game. Makes me want to continue on. Oof. Let's see if I can survive for the next 20 seconds to see what that end frame looks like. Ooh, that looks One second. 
thanks for playing. So, simple game. We've got everything that we need in here. There's my score. Uh, I would like a high score, 1800. I don't, I don't get that high score at the top or anywhere else to see what I had previously. That would definitely be nice. Settle on a title. You've got Tube Runner here on a sunny day. Play outside. On the website, you've got Cleaning Robot. I think Cleaning Robot would be fine for this. Uh, that would definitely be... It's what it's doing. This this little guy is neat. If you drew that or made that, he, he's got some neat little animations. There's that little jump thing. And the little head turn is kind of neat because it's like, you know, your Roomba. It's looking around trying to search for the dirt, the poo, and the tube that it's trying to clean. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. Um, neat game. Thanks for making the game. This is Cleaning Robot or Tube Runner uh, by Blue Mirror. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making the game. Next we have my favorite by far. This is this is the one, you guys. This is this is the winner because of what it is. It is just the winner. So. Here we have The Internet, a series of tubes by Famout. This is the background screen that they chose. Uh, the meme. There's that. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. Well, let's read the tutorial first. We all know The Internet is a series of tubes, so here is your chance to install it. On the left, you will see coming upcoming tubes. On the right is the connection point. Click to place or overwrite a new title. Get as many tubes connected to the internet as possible. Press in to mute, comma to lower, period to raise. Cool. Uh, start point. So we're connecting the internet. Making the world wide web. I seem to be having trouble making the world wide web. So if I if I'm just able to connect as many pieces as I can, I win. That my ultimate goal that is hard that's another straight beat is the elbow you have reached the end of the internet <gasps> how did you do 1600 restart try again okay so starting point is here uh next is the elbow to the right uh just place that out there that doesn't do me any good that doesn't do me any good, so let's put that there. That's there. That'll get me back out. Uh, there. Yeah, that would be good right there. Push this one back around. That connects that piece. That's another straight piece there. Close this back up here. There. That's straight. Uh, barnacle. Throw that one out there on the side. Throw that up to the top. Put that there. Mm. Another piece there. Oh, I was gonna have that whole little thing connected there. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of it. It's it's definitely you gotta think about these pieces. In the ways that you want to lay them down well ahead of time, otherwise you just waste a bunch of these. Did you see that? Is that just me? That's kind of weird, wasn't it? Oh, so that's all connected. Uh, a straight piece. Uh, I don't have a place for that. Yeah, I do right here, there. Uh, straight. Uh, 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 here. Uh, we're running out of time. It's gonna be the end of the world. I'm not gonna be able to connect the matrix. I'm gonna have to restart. Let's connect. 
Random piece. Random piece. Dang, Dang it. 2800! So, so, not bad. Uh... So... It's like Tetris, but with pipe building. We have a timer. We're trying to get these connected. I think we definitely have, you know, a, a sense of strategy kind of figured out here of what we need to do. You gotta think ahead of time. I wanna know what that is doing or saying, because I feel like it's trying to say something. Oh, I can overwrite too. Right. I wonder if you try to get it to do that. There it was again. Can't get it to do it again. I want to know what it was doing. Let me see if maybe I can take that. Oh, it's the matrix background. It's just a, it, it's just one giant. One zero one zero one zero all over the screen with the other oh, random characters. That's interesting. Uh, neat game. You know, sound would be nice. Just letting me know that I've placed a piece or I'm turning a piece or I've overrode a piece. If you only have one sound effect, just change the frequency of that sound effect to make it higher or lower. And your, your middle tone is you placing it down, your lower tone is you removing it, the higher tone is placing on a new area or something like that. Um, that would just give you some variation on here. You could even use sounds from the matrix, like that somebody that's remixed it so it's different, but it's still close to that weird virtually kind of sound. Um, I mean, it's a complete game if you've got a you got everything you need for the game. You've got me my score. It would be nice to see what that score is after I've done it. High score, so I know how good I've done. This was pretty easy to understand in line with what pieces are going to be coming next. And this is my starting point. Um, I would turn that green, dude. You got all the rest of this matrix stuff green. Yeah, I would totally turn that green. So this is a series of tubes by Fam Out. Very good game. It's very neat, uh, just trying to get these tubes out as, as quick as you can. You kind of have to build off the sides of the pieces you can't place just in. Maybe add like a switch where you could switch the current piece for your next, um, the next one down the line, just like you would normally do in like Tetris. That would be something really nice to have. Uh, just because it feels nice. So the next game we have on the list is called Tube Guy by Land. This is a web game, so let me get it all nice and prettied up here on the screen. And uh, this game does this game does kind of start right away. There is no no forgiveness here. You are just thrown into the world with no hope. You will leave. Bloop. Bloop. Okay, where oh, W to jump. What the heck am I? So I am Tube Man. A and D to move. I am this little red dot here. What? Does that kill me? Is that these spikes? Oh. Okay, so they are not spikes. But every time I come anywhere close to a tube, I am I am thrown into that tube. So I kind of obnoxious. Get five coins to get to the next level. I'll never get to a coin to even get to the next level. Right, let's try. What happened? Coin. Oh. What? I just want to. I just want to. Coin. I got. I got another. Oh. Okay. All right. Is that a coin? There's a coin. Give me the coin. It's gonna kick me over into the next level. Yep, it just did. That's weird. Coin. Oh, what is a coin? What is going on? This is so weird. 
account and there's good, good night, night Xai. Thanks for coming by. Welcome to the family. Hey, hey what's up, Kickstand? Welcome, Welcome to, to the family. family. Subscribing for another another month with your brother. I always appreciate you doing that, my friend. I will return the favor to you. Then, then it is time. Dang, you're a bit. So difficult. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be this hard. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to collect these coins in a reasonable fashion. It just seems like the trigger box for these pipes are way too big. I mean, I could be, if I'm looking at the screen, I could be a good two inches away from the pipe. And it just automatically starts triggering. I'm cool with all the floating platforms and stuff like that. I'm cool with it being kind of like this lost forest kind of thing where I've just got to aimlessly wander around to try to find these. That's all fine and dandy. But um, that that two thing just completely destroys this game for me because I'm not able to, to, to get over there. Uh, and I can step on the spikes. It says avoid the spikes. Change your color to find new rooms. And that's the blue thing up here. I've seen like a yellow in some of the other places. But I can't, I can't, I just can't even get there. Because uh, as soon as I get close, I, I practically get teleported over into the next world. I wasn't even close to the tube that time, and it just teleported me. Work on that. That would definitely be something I would say is top priority there is reduce that, that that checker that says, oh, he's near the pipe. Go ahead and switch him over. Um, yeah, he, he's, he's pretty cute. He's definitely really cute. But work on some of these, on some of these weird stuff. Bloop. Bloop. Pull it. Am I dying? Is that what's happening? I'm not sure. I can't double jump. Oh no! I missed the coin. Alright. So that's that's tube guy. Uh, work work on work on making it where I can actually play that because that, that that definitely is detracting from the game. And the last game that we have on our list tonight. It's called Yummy, Yummy Tubes, Tubes. Y y Yummy Tubes by Hattie Daniels. This is his web game. Let me get her all loaded up here and make it look all nice and stuff. And I believe Hattie is in the chat. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Press space to start. You were created from toxic waste and must eat chemicals to survive. Your goal is to collect as many test tubes as possible. Your health will decrease over time. You must consume more chemicals to survive. Each type will affect you in different ways. Some levels have extra tubes in them. Be careful not to consume too many. Left mouse button, control to consume, right. Or space to jump right mouse button to store in hideout. Let's space to continue. Okay. So I picked it up and I consumed it. Consume it. Oh god, I'm going backwards. You consume too much, you don't have enough energy to, to survive. Alright, so. Uh, left all, we're gonna store. Right? Right click, or right click the store. Ah, let's eat it. Eat it. Oh, I killed him. Yeah, them back to the pipe. Oh, so I just have to take it back over there. Okay. And then drop it off. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, let's put that one. What does green do? Oh, green takes me backwards. Oh dear. We've already done orange. Let's try purple now. We don't want rainbow. Oh, I'm back to normal now. Purple. 
Purple did nothing. Maybe I'm a little faster? You have too many, I died. Flat. I'm gonna take the rest of these and store them. Let's see what that's used. A game about a goo created from toxic waste must possess to, to survive. So I don't feel in danger right now. My health is not going down fast enough for me to say, like, I need to consume... Whoops! That one just missed. Uh, need to consume these test tubes. I feel like collecting them. Oh, I, what? But I didn't... Next level might be a little bit harder. Okay. First level, get me introduced to it. Got that understanding the concept of the game itself. We'll see here. Ooh, boy. Drop. Okay, looks like he's had a rough day. Real, real rough day for him. Uh, 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 drop. I like it. It's really cute. He kind of is like flying, kind of sliming around. Um, I like how you kind of pulled up, uh, pulled up his skin as he kind of floats into the sky. That's pretty cool. Now we got to collect seven. I'm just not gonna consume any of these to see how how important it is. For me to try to continue. That's this four extra. But now I have plenty of health. I've already got two down. The platforming's not hard and not not hard. Uh, where it makes me feel like holy crap, there's no way I can do this. Which is good. But some platforming I've done here recently has been like, oh, this is not happening. There's no way in the world I can do this. See if I can get up there. Alright, try this one. Alright, I can get up here. Alright, so my health is going down considerably uh, faster. Red Hills, most I might want to leave one or two. What are you talking about, Hattie? Everybody knows the rainbow test tubes are the one you need to save for your black. Woo! Get out of my way. Yeah, he's just a happy little slime monster. See? I wasn't far off, was I? Rainbow Hill's the second best. Oh, get up there. You only gotta get two more. You can do it without having to heal. You can do it. I believe in you. Ooh, so much there. Oh, I'm gonna have to take the purple one. Nope, I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it, everybody. Oh. Huh. Gotta get one more. Gotta get one more. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. Gotta make that jump. Oh yes. There we go. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm so gonna make it. Oh my gosh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Woo! 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 Drop.
I think you could uh, ease the dropping of the hideout or the test tubes into the hideout by as soon as I hit right click here you have a fixed position where it drops from instead of it dropping from my actual character that way you don't ever run into that that where I I'm dropping it just off into the ground and it's not actually going into the hideout itself um, just say okay for an example seven pixels above the hideout as soon as it hits right click that's where it's gonna drop from not where Mr. Mr. Goobody is standing, but that fixed position every single time. I would like to see some animation on his eyes, maybe? Since he's such a simple creature itself, you could just give him like a, a, a blink animation to kind of make him a little bit more lively, since he he is he, he's definitely seen some stuff. I don't know if he was a human that became a... Uh, a slimed up creature, but uh, he's definitely seen some stuff, I can tell you that. Oh snap, I like bounced me. Oh dang it, I hit the button. Rainbow Dance Party! Well, you did a good job. This is your first time. Kudos to you, dude. A lot better than I can do, I can tell you that. I don't think I can get 11. I don't think I can get... 11 without having to heal. I've already had to heal one time. I could probably do 10. Same. That jump right there that messes with me. Trying to make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go for a red heal up. Can't I found a reference copied most of Call me Darren. Oh man. Oh man. I'm not gonna make it. This is it. Goodbye, everybody. Oh no, I missed it. I died. Wah, wah, wah. So cool game. Very cute. Love the little creature. He's animated. I like the different test tubes. I would definitely say try to make it a little bit harder or make my health drain a little bit faster on the first two levels. Doesn't have to be a lot on that first, but just a little bit more incentive to make me a little more stressed as I'm going through. Cause I didn't, I had what, more than half of my health I think on the first level. Um, and the second one was a little, a lot, a lot closer, but I, I felt like I, I want to drink these potions. Like I, I want to experience the different effects to make this game more fun instead of me let me see how good I can make my platforming so I don't have to drink these potions. You know, I want to see some more of these crazy effects. Uh, I think that is the, the key mechanic that you're trying to introduce to us is, hey, the very things that you're needing to carry to the end are also the things that are going to make it possible for you to carry them to the end. So you need to use some of these strategically so you don't run out of health. Uh, but... I mean, that, I mean, it's a cool game. Like I said, it'd be neat if you could animate those eyes just so they're kind of blinking every once in a while. Since there's not a lot of features to him. And you, you've got, got like this like squishy, uh, 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 you know, ooze kind of creature. Uh, there's not a lot of movement like arms or anything like that. Uh, definitely, definitely would be cool to see those eyes just kind of every once in a while blinking. That would be cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to do for, but I didn't have time to test the health drain. You know, that's what it is. Uh, glad you fixed some of the bugs. I see down at the bottom it says there's no bugs in level 2 and 3 where you're told you have one extra test tube available. If there really is available, then there really is. So be careful. I'm glad you went back and fixed some of those bugs. That's always good. Uh, Hattie, Daniel, thanks for making this game. Very good. 
uh, keep up your development. Keep making games. Come on back next week and make some more. Uh, it's always fun to see what you guys come up with. Uh, it's always it's always neat to see you guys progress too. That's that's like one of my favorite things about doing that. I get to see how you guys you know started out in the beginning making stuff into later when you when you come up with these great great ideas. Um, it's really neat. Uh, so thank you guys all for coming tonight. That is all that we have. We're going to chow. We're going to go to bed. We're going to go to sleep. And uh, we will pick this up next week. Remember, I have my Saturday night AAA stream. Where we play games like Cuphead, Super Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda, a bunch of other games that you know we're going to try to introduce over the next couple weeks or so. And then on Sunday, we typically have our Indie Sunday stream which is a lot of fun. We have the devs come on, like what we're doing right now, and talk about your game. Sometimes we have the admin team come and talk about some of the games that they've made or talk about your games or offer suggestions because they make some pretty cool stuff. If you've never checked out, hey, Nico Matata, they've got some really cool stuff. Check out Ping Pong Pals. That one will make you cry a lot. Really good. But thanks for coming out, everybody. If you have any questions, please send me a direct message on Twitter. I'm also on the Discord for the weekly game jam. If you'd like to sign up and you've never done a game jam before, get in on Fridays. Every Friday we have a new theme. It's a lot of fun. You can work together. You can work solo if you want to. If you've never done anything like this before, but you have some talent and you want to try to use those and you know make yourself known, come to a game jam. It's a lot of fun. You do it for a week and then you're done. You don't have to worry about it any more than that. Just try. So come on by. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you later.